Okay guys, I want to have a look over this data log here with you. This is from a Hellcat. Um, it just did a pass on the weekend, ran at 8.8 8 at 152.73. Uh, so this is the data log from it. Obviously a very impressive data log to be showing you guys. Um, over here on the left, we've got our low temperature radiator, uh, 54 degrees and um, air charge temperature. 96.8 now first want to discuss with the air charge temperature that's your sensor location this screwdriver here is you know i know this photo is on an angle so you're not going to actually see this as well as you know looking at it yourself on your own car but the sensor is in a dead air location so it doesn't actually get true air temperature readings and it's heat soaked um, that's why we want to put our spaces on there to you know make it not run as hot um, so what you'll see in the data log is when we do go wide open throttle in this log, the air temperature will actually drop and then it starts rising. And that's because the sensor there, as you can see, it's about half an inch out of the airflow path. So your air is going in here and it's it's not hanging. That, your sensor's hanging out the next door neighbor's house. Um, you can see that here as well um, from the distance, you know, from the sensor body to there. Um, so it's incorrectly placed and it's heat soaked as well so when we're looking here at the air charge temperature um, this isn't necessarily accurate uh, to be going off and what we do know though is from our fluid temperature under the idle conditions um, the fluid temperature is about 12 to 18 but sorry the air temperature is about 12 to 18 above the fluid temperature um, what I want you to have a look here is the timestamp here first. So if we start all the way at the very start of the log here, you can see the car's first been started, you know, 75 degree um, fluid temperature. And then if we scroll through the log, only, you know, three minutes in, the chiller's brought it down to 48 degrees, you know, six minutes in, 37. And then just here before the burnout, um, you know, we're eight minutes in, 34 degrees. So really good job that the wow. chiller's doing there at bringing down the fluid temperature. Uh, this car's also fitted with a BMR uh, reservoir, which is what we're gonna talk about here in the next part, how the temperatures are being kept down because of that reservoir. So the chiller's job, you gotta remember this, the chiller's job is to make that tank of fluid cold. And then that tank of fluid's job is to provide you with freezing cold fluid during the quarter mile pass here. So here the green line is road speed, red is our RPM, um, this purple is our boost pressure, this yellow here is the air charge temperature, like I was saying it's not going to be reading exactly true, that's why you can see a dip there at the start, and the fluid temperature here is in blue, down the bottom here is our TPS, so throttle position sensor. Uh, not sure what's going on with that spike there. Maybe he touched the pedal after the run, but either way, this is the run here. So 36 degree fluid temperature at the start of the run. And I'm just going to fast forward through the run quickly. That reservoir is working great. At this point, he's supplying 36 degrees and then 37. So it only rose one degree during the whole run. So he's got the coldest possible air temperature entering that supercharger. Um, not too concerned with whatever this temperature is because like I said, it's heat soaked. Um, all we do know is if you've got 37 degree coolant entering your supercharger in a cooler, you've obviously got freezing cold air coming out the other side. Now in terms of that sensor reading incorrectly, if we watch it here at 95 and we scroll through slowly, when he enters boost, it drops down in temperature. So what's actually happening there, at this point here, he doesn't have airflow across the sensor. So the sensor's heat soaked. At this point here, he's just gone into boost and the cold boosted air, uh, as strange as that is to say, is actually cooling off the sensor temperature. And then obviously here at this point, we start to see the gradual climb of the uh, air temperature sensor you know, during the run. Um, like I said, this is an impressive run. Obviously, I don't think he's got his uh, tire calculator adjusted in his tune file there. Uh, he's going to need to obviously adjust that so he can start to read uh, correctly there because we can see here he's, he probably finished the run about here. 
and then he's obviously gotten off it just after there based on the TPS position. Um, so very, very good result there. You know, run at 8859 at 152.7 mile per hour. And this is an impressive data log. Um, you know, boost pressure's good, you know, 227 is obviously spinning the blower hard. Um, this is a Hellcat Red Eye. Um, I'm pretty sure it's full weight. Uh, impressive, this is impressive. This is how it should be set up. So the intercooler pump's working great here, keeping this fluid flowing through. Obviously, uh, an even faster pump would probably result in even better air temp, um, but this is working really good. He's got a constant supply of 36 to 37 degree fluid during the whole run. That's exactly what you want and how you should set up a chiller. Because like we said, a chiller is, its only job is to make a tank of fluid cold. And then that tank of fluid's job is to provide you with freezing cold fluid for your entire quarter mile pass. All right, uh, like, share, subscribe if you want to check out more videos. Thank you. Bye.